Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be learning about the conditional operator in Java. Also, if you're struggling to learn Java, I have my very own Java course. People who took my Java course found that they understand Java a lot better. So if you want to understand Java better just like them, you can check out my course down below. So let's start it off by making a new Java project together. We'll just call this the conditional operator. Hit finish. We'll create a new class in the source folder. Call it like conditional hit the main method and finish. The conditional operator looks like this. This is gonna look kind of weird, but don't worry, I'll explain everything here in a second. Basically, we have a variable on the left and an if-else statement on the right. On the right here, there are three parts. The first part is this condition and a little question mark. In the middle is the result if it's true, and on the right is the result if it's false. And you read it like this. Is seven greater than three? If true, then we'll store seven into A. If false, then we'll store three into A. Let's print out that result. Save and run. And we see the result is seven. This is the same as if seven is greater than three, then A equals seven. Otherwise, a equals three. These are the exact same statements. So if I just took that away and ran this, we'd see that a is seven. So the conditional operator is just three parts, the condition, the result if it's true, and then the result if it's false. So let's do another example. Let's say we have maybe a string a that's equal to hello. Let's return maybe like 0.5 if it's hello, and 0.25 if it's not hello. Say our result is now a double. We'll say a dot equals, using our string method, to say if a is equal to hello. Is it equal to hello? If that's true, then we'll return 0 0.5. But if it's false, then we'll return 0 0.25 for this little quirky example. We'll print that result out this time save and run, and we see 0.5. If this was something else, like howdy, we'd get 0 0.25. These values right here have to match this type on the left because this is the result that gets put into the variable on the left, so it has to match. If this was, say, a string, for example, it wouldn't work because it has to match. Since the first part results in true or false, and the next two parts result in the type that it's gonna be stored into, it works correctly. So now I'll walk through how this works again in plain English. When we click the green run button, we run code in the main method. We see a string variable called a that's equal to the text howdy. Then we have a double variable called result that's equal to the result of this. This is the conditional operator format, which is basically an if statement in one line. And you read this as follows. If this is true, return this. Otherwise, return this. If a dot equals hello is true, since a is howdy, that's a false statement. So it returns the value on the right. 0.25 is now stored into results. And that's why when we print results, we print 0.25. I personally don't really use this, but it's a really handy way to like make your code a little cleaner if you don't want to write out if-else statements every time you want to do something like this. So again, the big points for this conditional operator code is the first thing results in true or false. Then after the question mark, you have your true and false values. The first one is true, the second one is false, and they have to be the same type as the variable on the left. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.